a group of researchers want to find out the speed of sound in air in an empty yard. A. List the apparatus they need. Let's remember first an experiment to find out the speed of sound using the direct method. First, we need an observer with a stopwatch. Also, we need a source of sound and light. This can be anything like fireworks or a sound pistol, for example. The distance between observer and the shooter will be measured using measuring tape, for example. Once this source shoots, it produces light and sound immediately together. Light reaches the observer immediately, but sound comes later because the speed of sound is much slower than the speed of light. Once the observer sees the flash, he starts the stopwatch. Later, when he hears the sound of the shot, he stops the stopwatch. This recorded time will be the time taken by the sound from the shooter to the observer. Using the simple equation, speed equals distance over time, we can work out the speed of sound. So the apparatus needed for this experiment, number one, source of sound and light, like a sound pistol or fireworks, for example. Number two, measuring tape or any means that can measure the distance between the observer and the shooter. Number three, we need a stopwatch. Question B. List the readings they must take to calculate the speed of sound. As mentioned in the experiment, we need to measure the distance between the shooter and the observer. Also, we need the time between seeing the flash and hearing the sound. Question C. State how can they calculate the speed of sound from the readings in B. Also a simple question, if you understood the experiment using the equation speed equals distance over time. Question D. State an experimental precaution that could be taken to improve the accuracy of the value obtained by this experiment. Actually, there are many precautions that can be taken here. He only needs one. For example, Larger distance between shooter and observer makes the time longer for the sound to reach the observer. The longer time means more accuracy and less uncertainty in the measured time. Another precaution is we can repeat the experiment by interchanging positions of shooter and observer. This is to avoid the effect of wind. Another simple thing is that you can say repeat and take the average. Only one precaution to get the mark of the question.